Hey everyone, Steve Kim here on this edition of Hashtag RHL. I am super honored and excited to be meeting and talking with Michelle, who is the organizer of the Art and Studio Tour in the heart of Richmond Hill. So Michelle, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. And thank you. <laughs> so tell us about this amazing Art and Studio Tour, because you just shared with me that it's been happening for 17 years. It has. Okay. So it's been happening for 17 years throughout Richmond Hill um, in artist studios, as well um, in community spaces such as the Boynton House, uh, the Richmond Hill Centre of the Performing Arts is a new location, the Curtain Club, uh, some years we've had it at the Mill Pond Gallery, wow. uh, the United Church is a new venue and yeah. Elgin Barrow Arena is a new venue. So can I ask, what was the inspiration behind this? So why an art and studio tour in Richmond Hill? So about 18 years ago, um, the city, the t it was a town then, um, had a challenge of trying to connect with local artists. We okay. knew they were out there in the community, we just didn't know where they were, or how to reach them. And um, so the music companies, and we did a music festival, that was all out there, but no art events. Okay. So we started very small, I think we had 18 artists okay. in about 10 <laughs> locations. Wow. And the largest um, number we've dealt with is 48 artists wow. in 20 locations. Wow. So this year we're trying to hone in on a um, a walking aspect of it. So the Richmond Hill Center for the Performing Arts, the United, the, right? okay. the United <laughs> Church, um, the Heritage Center and Algum Barrow are all within five minutes. You okay. can park at any one of those locations, visit all four sites and you've covered 20 artists. And the burning question, <laughs> how much does it cost? It is free. And everyone <laughs> loves free. Right. Amazing. And it's once a year, yeah. so it's it's the best opportunity to especially visit artists in their own homes yes. and studios because several artists only open their home once a year yeah. um, for this event. Yeah. And then you can actually see where the artist works and creates. Amazing. Last question, Michelle. How did you get involved with this? <laughs> Like, so, yeah. <laughs> well, I work for the city yeah. of Richmond Hill, and this was one of the initiatives that we wanted to start and 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 develop. So, okay. I've been working on this for 18 years. Wow. Um, watched it from <laughs> like from, a like a, like, it's a, your like baby. a child. It, it is it is my baby, and, and I've met <laughs> an incredible artists yeah. and um, organizations and that through it. Amazing. So, yeah. Thank you so much for your time, okay. Michelle. You're if you're welcome. a resident of Richmond Hill, if you're a resi resident of Ontario, mm -hmm. you need to make the trip this weekend to come and celebrate this amazing art and studio tour that are highlighted by some phenomenal artists in Richmond Hill. Really, really excited as I have a local artist, Andrea, whose work is going to actually be highlighted this weekend at the art and studio tour. You've taken time out of your busy schedule to kind of talk a little bit about who you are, the art works that you produce, and why the Art Studio Tour is so important for you. So, thank you so much. You're welcome. Why don't you tell everyone, Andrea, who you are? <laughs> My name's Andrea, and I'm a local visual artist here in Richmond Hill. Um, I've been working as an artist for probably 25, 30 years. Wow. Um, and display and sell my work all over the uh, Greater Toronto area, Richmond Hill Studio Tour, just being one of those now, um, venues. Now, Andrea, do you specialize in a particular form of art? And if so, what is it? <laughs> so there are two things that I, that I uh, work on. Um, I've been painting in years uh, in gouache, it's an opaque watercolour. Oh, nice. And recently, for the last two years, I've been working in uh, reduction lino cut printmaking, and that is an original printmaking technique. Oh, wow, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so where can we come and see your artwork this weekend? So this weekend, I'm <laughs> opening my home studio yes. in Richmond Hills. So yes. welcoming guests into my home. Uh, one of the reasons I love doing that is because it's going to allow me to demonstrate what it is I do. Uh, especially with the uh, reduction lino cut printmaking medium. It's uh, something that's not very common and not um, easily explained. So I love the opportunity to show people what it is that I actually do. And are you okay to share the address so people know where to come? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm site number 14. Site number 14. In the catalog. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and that's at 141 Castle Rock Drive, unit number nine in Richmond Hill. Beautiful, thank you so much and what a phenomenal opportunity it would be for you to come and actually speak with the local artist and kind of have, be able to pick her brain, <laughs> which I think is truly, truly yeah. uh, amazing. So thank you so much and we look forward to seeing your incredible works of art this weekend. Thank you.
Have a great day, Richmond Hill. As always, be great, be kind. Take care.